So you're on Amazon trying to figure out, well, which one of these tripod selfie stick smartphone holders do I buy? Well, I'm gonna help you out today because I've got the one from Vixie, brand new on the market. It's the Vixie selfie stick tripod for any smartphone with a Bluetooth remote. We're gonna do a full review and demo in today's Hobart's Reviews. Hey everyone, welcome back to Hobart's Reviews. My name is Hobart, and today I bet you're watching this video because you're looking for some kind of tripod selfie stick with Bluetooth remote combination, and you're not quite sure which one to choose, either on Amazon or, or online somewhere. Well, I'm gonna be able to help you out today. Thanks for watching. The Vixseed one is the one we're gonna be doing today, and Vixseed's a great company. I actually bought one of their cell phone, uh, car phone holders about a year ago, I don't know, eight, 10 months ago, and I've been using it in my car. It was a CD slot and an air vent, and it's it's been my favorite for quite a while now. So they contacted me and said, hey Hobart, we saw your video. We'd love to see what you think about our tripod selfie stick combination. So I said, great, go ahead, send me one. I'll let you know what I think. So I wanted to share it with you guys today. First, we'll go over what's in the box. You're gonna get your instruction manual and your register your product uh, customer support card in case you need it. You also get this really cool carrying bag. It's got a drawstring on it as well for your shoulders so you can take it with you easily. Uh, you're gonna get a 360 degree swivel, which is really, really nice. You can adjust the swivel and tighten it and loosen it by this little screw. You don't need to have a screwdriver or a wrench or anything, which is great. And that allows that ball to, to move freely around there. So that's pretty sweet. You also get your cell phone or smartphone adapter, really tight springs on here. So it's gonna hold that smartphone. It holds my Galaxy S10 Plus just fine with plenty of room to spare. So you might even get some small phablets on here. So uh, that's really nice. You also you do have adapter, adapters here and adapters there, threads, so that I'll show you how that works in a few minutes. You get your Bluetooth remote and an extra battery. At first I thought they just kept the battery out because they didn't want it to be on, but no, there's a battery in there and a battery in the bag. So you get two batteries, which is awesome. So thank you, Vixseed. Uh, your selfie stick. Your selfie stick is made out of aluminum, so it's extremely light. Uh, it's got some kind of black powder coating on it. It feels really nice and sturdy. These clips are made out of plastic. They are very tight. So you loosen those, it will telescope out, I think about three to four feet, if you can see. Now on the end, you have your quarter inch screw there. So that's gonna go on to all your attachments here, but it's also gonna be able to go on to, if you already have a GoPro attachment, this doesn't come with a GoPro attachment, but if you have a GoPro attachment already that has that quarter inch screw, you can screw it on here and use it. Um, some DSLRs have that on the bottom of there, so you can use that if you want, but that's mostly to attach your attachments here, but it does have it, okay? Now on the bottom or the, the tripod portion of it, they were smart and they made this out of steel. No, it's not solid steel, it's not heavy, but it is a steel, so it's a little bit heavier, gives you more stability, especially when you're outside, if you're in grass, or even in a little bit of a windy day. If this was all made out of aluminum, it would just blow over, and you don't want that to happen. So that's really sweet that they made this out of steel. So uh, it's a really nice tripod. I mean, it goes out pretty far, nice and stable. This right here is where you're going to put in your, it's, this is hexagonal, so you're gonna put it, your hexagonal piece in there. There's actually some little lines on here that tell you that we're the minimum that you need to have it. But keep in mind, the taller that you have your tripod, the less stable it's gonna be and the more movement you're gonna get at the top. So only put it as tall as you need to, okay? But you'll be able to put that in there like so and tighten it down. And why don't we go over here and I'll go ahead and show you how you put this whole thing together with a cell phone on it and see how tall it is and see if it'll work for you. All right, so let me show you how to put your attachments on and to adjust the height and all that good stuff. So first of all, we've got our tripod, we've got our selfie stick that we've already inserted into it and tightened it down. Uh, on the sides here, you've got your two tabs and this is the way that you adjust your telescoping uh, sections to the different heights that you want. We'll go ahead and leave those down for now while I show you how to put the attachments on. Now the attachments that you get, I showed you before, you get your cell phone adapter and you get your swivel. If you want, you can go ahead and screw your cell phone adapter directly onto the quarter inch screw at the top of your selfie stick. You just will not have any adjustments. It'll be looking straight no matter what. If you wanna use this, it's pretty simple. You just go ahead and screw this on to your quarter inch screw. And on the side, you have this little knob. This little knob here is what allows you to loosen your swivel and tighten your swivel. So if you tighten it up, it's nice and tight. Now on this side, you actually have a cutout. So if you want, you can actually go all the way down 90 degrees with this baby. And that is why you have the uh, different threads on here. You actually have threads on here 
on the side so that you can put it like this and keep your phone in portrait mode. I don't like the video in portrait mode. I think it's pretty obnoxious. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the bottom here where it would have my phone in landscape mode. So the easy thing to do is to just screw it on. And once you get it on, this little wheel underneath here, you're just gonna wanna twist it and make sure it's nice and tight so that that baby stays in place. Now, you can adjust from here with this little knob on where you want your 360 swivel to go. You can put it straight down if you want to, but that's your adjustments and then tighten it back up when you're all done. Now, if you wanna put your cell phone in, you basically squeeze back here. These got these real nice tight springs. Uh, you got, I think 2.4 to 3.5 inch wide is your, your width, which most phones, maybe small phablets, would probably still be able to fit in here with no problem. So that's a Galaxy S10 Plus. Your iPhones will fit in there. Your Google phones will fit in there. Your LG phones, the new S21 will fit in there. It will be no problem at all. So that's how you put it in, bam, just like that. Now, if you wanna adjust the height, this thing goes from 18 inches up to 59 inches or almost six feet. Uh, the different ways that you want to adjust it is you have those two tabs on the side. So the first one you're going to want to put up, second one you're going to want to put up. And then, remember those little white lines I was showing you earlier on the selfie stick? Well, those little white lines are where you're going to want to put it up to to get your full maximum 59 inches. And the white lines are right there, if you can see them. So I'm going to put it right at the white lines, tighten it down nice and tight. I'm six feet tall, well, 5'11". There you go. 59 inches tall. Now, like I said earlier, the taller that you have it, you can see the more unstable it is. So if you can have it shorter, keep it shorter. Even bringing it down one level will make it a little bit more stable for you. All right, let's go ahead and connect the Bluetooth and see how it works. All right, so it's time to show you how to connect your Bluetooth remote to your cell phone. First thing you need to do is turn the remote on. On the side here, you have a little on-off switch. You turn it on, you can see it starts to blink blue. Then you're gonna go to your Bluetooth settings on your cell phone. It works with both iPhone and Android, so you don't have to worry. Go to your Bluetooth settings and you're gonna be looking for AB Shutter 3. AB Shutter 3, you're gonna click on that. It's gonna ask you if you wanna okay it, yes. It's connecting and it says it is connected. So let's go ahead and test it out. Let's go to the camera. Let's see if it takes a picture when I hit the button. Ready? One, two, three. Yep, it took a picture. All right, let's go to video. Let's see if it starts recording. One, two, three. Yep, it starts recording. So this is supposed to work up to 33 feet away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this tripod right in front of you here so you can see if it works. And then I'm gonna go ahead into the other room, and I'm gonna see if it works 33 feet away. So let's start pacing. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. All right, let's see if it works in three, two, one. Let's see if it stops. All right, I'm gonna come back out. Did it work? Let's go ahead on to photos. Once again, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. All right, I am in my bedroom right now. I'm going to go ahead and hit the camera button in 3, 2, and 1. Did it work? Take another one. Take another one. All right, let's come back and see. I couldn't see if it worked. Did it work? We'll go into our, yep, 1, 2, Three pictures, we got a video. I'd say it works 33 feet away, that's for sure. Now, supposedly these Bluetooth remotes have got a bad history of disconnecting from phones. I've never owned one of these before, so I don't know, I just did some reading about it. If you've tried one of these in the past and you've been frustrated by it, supposedly Vixi did something to the technology, they tweaked it in a way that would make this not disconnect from your phone. Because I'm sure it's very frustrating when you're in the middle of trying to do a video or take some pictures to have it disconnect from your phone when you're 33 feet away from it and have to walk back to it and set it all up again. So Vixi, supposedly has done some tweaking to the technology so you shouldn't have any more issues with your remote disconnecting from your smartphone. So what do you say? Let's go ahead and take a look at the pros and the cons. All right, let's take a look at the pros and cons for the Vic Seed Selfie Stick Tripod Smartphone Holder. 
Say that five times fast. It is a mouthful. Uh, anyways, we'll start off with the pros. I really like the materials that they used. Vixseed was really smart by making this out of steel. Make it a little bit heavier as your base of your tripod, which you want for windy days and for uneven surfaces and grass and etc. And then they made the selfie stick portion of it out of aluminum, which is very smart because you're going to be carrying this in your hands and you don't want to be carrying something that's heavy. So to make this out of aluminum and make this out of steel, very smart idea. So that's definitely a pro. I like the fact that you do get two telescoping sections in here to make this about four feet long, which is really nice if you're into selfieing. I don't really do too much selfie sticking, but if that's something that you do. Uh, the adapter, the cell phone adapter, you get 2.4 up to 3.5 inches in width, which means you can put basically any smartphone and maybe even small phablets inside this thing. Uh, and these springs are really, really strong, so it's not going to lose your phone when you're moving around real fast. They do give you their little rubber sections in here to protect your phone so it's not going to scrape it, so that's real nice. The 360 degree swivel they give you with the adjustments here on the side so you get all that freedom and flexibility. The cutout on the side so you can go totally sideways with it if you want to. So the accessories they give you are good quality and work well. What else do I like? Oh, the Bluetooth remote. So the Bluetooth remote not only has a battery in it, they give you an extra battery, which I showed you in the intro, and that's really cool. I appreciate you, Vixie, for giving us an extra battery. Uh, the Bluetooth remote, supposedly, I've never owned one before, there was issues with these coming disconnected from the smartphones, uh, especially in less feet than they said that it would. Well, Vixie supposedly did some tweaking to the technology so that these will not disconnect from your smartphone or will disconnect from your smartphone a lot less than they used to do. Like I said, I've never owned one, so I, I don't know. It hasn't disconnected for me yet, but supposedly Vixie made a big point of saying that they fixed it so that their remote is not going to come disconnected from your phone and it will work for the full 33 feet as I showed you just a little while ago. So I also like the fact that you get a 12 month warranty. Yep, if anything happens to this guy in the first 12 months, just get a hold of Vixie and they're going to fix and replace it absolutely free. So definitely big props to Vixie. I really think it's a nice tripod. If you are looking for something of quality, something that's not plastic, something that's not going to fall apart, something that's not flimsy, this is it right here. I mean, it's very sturdy. It's steel, it's metal, it's aluminum. Everything stays tight on here. Nothing is loose, nothing makes noise. There's no clinkety clankities or loose pieces. So I definitely say it's worth getting. When it comes to cons, I didn't really have any cons that are particular to this particular one. What I don't like about some of these is that the bottom part of this is so small on these smartphone cell phone holders, that's not really a widespread. And when you get up 59 inches tall, as you saw, as I showed you earlier, you tap that and it's gonna move back and forth. So you don't really have the stability with something that has such a small base like that. This is great for maybe half to three quarters of the way up, but I wouldn't unless you really need to go all the way up to the 59 inches, just because it might be a little unstable, especially if you're outside. So as a con, just for these types of cell phone holders, not Vixseed, is that, the base really doesn't work for something that's six feet tall. It's not big enough. You need bigger spread to make it nice and stable so you don't have any wobbling. But as far as cons, I don't have any other cons. I don't have anything that uh, I've found so far that's negative about it. Everything works well, everything feels well, the materials feel well. It comes in at a great price, it has a 12 month warranty. So uh, if you're looking, stop looking now, go ahead and pick this guy up. I'm gonna put a link in the description for you if you are interested in picking one of these guys up. It is an affiliate link, it helps me out, does not cost you any more, but it does help up my channel. So I'd appreciate if you use that link if you wanna go ahead and pick one of these guys up. And if I earn that like and subscribe in this video, please go ahead and do that now, it really helps me out. Don't forget to hit that bell so that you'll be notified next time I put out a video. And I got a whole bunch of them on deck that I'm working on right now. So thanks again for joining me. My name is Hobart for Hobart's Reviews. Really appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day. See ya.